rhyming stories but words ignite from reports to diaries our stories take flight with vocabulary gems and plots so grand we'll transport you to worlds across every land get ready to listen to stories to ignite your imagination where each story chapter two the clockwork conundrum the day after Samuel's timely arrival was filled with a buzz of bewilderment. His colleagues, accustomed to his perpetual tardiness, watched him like he was a rare bird sighted in the wrong season. Whispers floated around the office like leaves caught in a swirling autumn breeze. Did you see Samuel? On time, murmured Jane from accounting, her eyes wide with disbelief. Perhaps he's discovered a time machine, chuckled David, the office joker, winking conspiratorially. Samuel, meanwhile, was basking in his newfound punctuality. The watch on his wrist felt like a magical talisman, granting him powers beyond mere mortal comprehension. It was as if the very fabric of time had been stitched to fit him perfectly, hemming in moments and stretching out seconds just when he needed them. But as the day wore on, something peculiar began to happen. The watch would occasionally emit a soft humming sound, like a cat purring contentedly, and the hands would spin wildly before settling back into their usual rhythm. It was a curious quirk, but Samuel paid it no mind. After all, who was he to question a watch that seemed to dance to its own tune? Then came the afternoon meeting, a dull affair usually dominated by Mr Witherspoon's droning voice. But today Samuel found himself unusually alert, his mind sharp as a tack, absorbing every word as if they were the juiciest gossip. Suddenly the room seemed to stretch and contract, a rubber band snapping back and forth. Samuel blinked, rubbing his eyes. Was it the flickering fluorescent lights or something more sinister? He glanced at his watch, its hands spinning like a whirling dervish. The world around him blurred, the voices of his colleagues turning into a symphony of nonsense, like a radio tuned to a dozen stations at once. Panic bubbled up inside him like an overshaken soda can. Was he going mad? Just as quickly as it began, the chaos subsided. The room snapped back into focus and Mr Witherspoon's voice droned on as if nothing had happened. Samuel took a deep breath, his heart pounding like a drum in his chest. What on earth was that? He muttered under his breath, his mind racing faster than a greyhound at full sprint. After the meeting, Samuel retreated to his desk, determined to uncover the mystery of his enigmatic timepiece. He examined it from every angle, turning it over like a detective searching for clues. The watch continued to tick innocently, its face reflecting the overhead lights with an almost cheeky glint. Unable to resist the urge, Samuel decided to visit Tempus Fugit again. As he made his way there, the city around him seemed to pulse with life, every sight and sound amplified to an almost overwhelming degree. The cacophony of traffic was a symphony, the chatter of pedestrians a lively chorus. Arriving at the shop, he found it just as he'd left it, a quaint haven of ticking treasures. The old man greeted him with a knowing smile, his eyes twinkling with mischief. Ah, Samuel, he said, leaning on the counter. How's the watch treating you? Samuel hesitated, unsure of how to express the whirlwind of events. It's doing things, he finally managed. Strange things. The old man chuckled, a sound like the rustling of autumn leaves. Ah, yes, it does have a mind of its own, doesn't it? But remember, Samuel, time is not just something we measure. It's something we feel. Samuel nodded, though he wasn't entirely sure what the old man meant. One thing was certain, his life had taken a turn for the extraordinary and he was on the brink of an adventure that promised to be anything but ordinary. And so, dear reader, with a mind full of questions and a heart full of anticipation, Samuel set out to discover the true nature of his mysterious watch. For in the world of time there are secrets yet to be revealed and Samuel was about to uncover them all. Diamond stories, but birds ignite. From reports to diaries, our stories take flight. With vocabulary gems and plots so grand, we'll transport you to worlds across every land. Get ready to listen to stories to ignite your imagination. Where each story.